crying might not be a good thing to you, depending on your philosophy and ideology. But if the need arises that you really have to cry, I want you to cry in the rain and do not let the enemies to see your tears. My name is Okochapi Marcel. I want to tell you that a lot of people are crying in the rain. That is why their tears have been seen by God and the sound of their cries have been heard by God. There are a lot of people who are crying physically and a lot of people are seeing their tears and people are pretending to have pity on them. But when they turn their back on you, they will begin to laugh at you. I really want you to cry in the rain. And this is what I mean to cry in the rain. You see, a lot of people will pretend that they are having pity mind at you. Whereas they are the cause of your cry, they are the cause of your pain. They will come to your present and pretend that they really have help to render to you, to solve that challenge, that frustration while you are crying day and night. But on the contrary, you never knew that these same people pretending to be your helper are the causes of your cries. And that is why today I have come to tell you to cry in the rain. When you are crying in the rain, people around you wouldn't know that you are crying. But there is somebody that sees your cry. That is God. Crying in the rain means having that painful heart. Crying to God in your heart. Having that heart of prayer. That whenever this thing comes heavily in your heart, whenever this pain comes heavily in your heart, you run it to God. You alone knows what you are thinking in your heart. But you know what? God sees your heart. So it is better for you to cry. You cry in your heart. That is what I mean crying in the rain. Handle choosing ones. You've got to cry in the rain. If there is any need for you to cry. You know the Bible says that God will wipe away our tears. That the veil of mourning covering our tears, our faces, that God is going to wipe it out. This is the promise of God. In other words, there are needs for people to cry in the world because the system is being ruled by the enemy. So no matter what is going on around you, no matter the need and the problem, no matter the situation that could lead you to cry openly, hold on, do not cry openly. Because when you are crying openly, your emotions and everything, people will see it. People seeing it is not a problem. But who are those that are seeing your tears? That is where the problem lies. We are living in a world where people live pretentiously. They live as if they are good people. They live as if they are your father, your mother, your siblings. Like they are the same Lord with you. That they can die for you. They can care for you. They can do everything for you. But come on. Is it really the way they are? Absolutely no. These people can do anything that seems to be good, seems to be right in your present. But what happens when they turn their back on you? <laughs> so many of them are laughing at your tears. So many of them are laughing at your failure. So many of them are laughing at your mistakes. You know, the hearts of men are desperately wicked. You know, people will come to your present and they will ask you about your life, your mistakes and everything. And when they turn their backs on you, they will be gossiping you. You will become the talk of the day. You will become the talk of the weekend. You see, even as you are watching this video, you don't even know that a lot of people have gathered with drink in beer pan or in restaurant and they are talking about you. <laughs> this life is so complicated that you've got to be very careful on how you relate your problem with people. Because if not, a lot of people are not ready to render help to you. Seriously, people are not ready to give you help in hand. Only thing they really want to do is to know whether you are succeeding they will ask you what is the issue or is the problem. They just want to know and see the level of your prosperity or how you are feeling. When you are prospering, two things are involved. They are not going to be happy with you. They will, they will say in their heart, how I wish I'm this man. Why is this man prospering? Why is this woman prospering? I'm, I am not prospering. And when you are feeling, they will be happy. In the sense that they will say, yes, of course, I am better than this person. See, this is the kind of crazy world that we are living in. And that is why I have come to tell you, keep secrets to yourself. And I really want you not to cry 
and allow the enemies to see your tears. And if you really want to cry, cry in the rain. Let the rain fall on your tears. And people will see that, yes, rain is falling on you. That is no tears. And when you are deeply tensed in your heart, that there are tears in your heart, not your face, the enemy will find it difficult to know what is going on around you. You will leave them doubting. What is going on in this people's life? What is going on in this woman, in this man's life, in this girl's life, in this boy's life? That is just how life is. And when people come to ask you problem, to ask you question based on your problem, I want you to learn how to reply them. Do not reply them as if there is no tomorrow. Do not reply them as if you don't have hope, because they are still going to laugh at you. They are not going to offer any solution to you. They will sit down, put their hands on their jaw. They will ask you a lot of questions. They will, you know, they will feel, pretend that they are in emotion, you know, sorrowfully beating you. In their heart is a different thing. And that is why the Bible says that people worship God with their lips and their mind is far away from God. This is the same thing. It's a game of mind and mouth. They feel differently from what is in their heart. Hi, brethren, be careful. You've got to be careful. This word is no longer the same as you think. And people around you, they are not what you think. That is why you've got to have a personal relationship with God. So if you have a personal relationship with God, you've solved a lot of problems. You've solved a lot of challenges around you. Because the reason why people want to cling on people around them, have friends, do everything, is just because of refuge. That if something is happening, you will see people around you to help you. When you are joy, when you have joy in your heart, you are happy. You know, you will see people to laugh with you. You know, anything you are doing, you feel good people being around you. But that is not the case in this world again. Everything has changed. And that is why you've got to let God to be your best friend and your best friend forever. Until we meet again on my next video, I am Okocha Afimwasa. Shalom.